Hello viewers, it's me again. It is absolute madness to be in Croatia today. On my right side you can see the people which are on the main square where we are celebrating the return of the World Cup team of Croatia, my country. They won the second place and I think that the celebration is even bigger even that we won the finals. But never mind. Let's go back to the free energy and what I prepared for you this time. Uh, this time is uh, I prepare for you again one gravity motor is John ha Harford gravity motor which is you'll see a very similar to other gravity motors. All right, so this is the John Hurford uh, let's say gravity motor system. So let's start from the beginning. Okay, so you can see that the gravity motor will be inside of some housing, and there's going to be an output shaft connected to the generator or alternator, which should give us the free energy. Yeah. So let me hide the outside housing to see what's inside. Okay, typical uh, gravity motor construction where you can see that we have we have four wheels or four weights uh, which can be longitudinally uh, and vertically uh, adjusted uh, by some, some kind of a system inside of these pipes so that uh, we are able to control the position of the weight on the end. Yeah? So, all these weights have inside, uh, you can see, bearings, so they actually are some kind of wheels which can speed up on this track. Yeah? So this is the track on where these uh, wheels spin yeah? and then uh, get acceleration and uh, make a momentum because of the mass of the whole, whole system. Then on the, they start coming towards the center, yeah? pulled in and then this spin continues. Yeah. So basically this system should give us output energy uh, higher than the input energy or at least to power itself to, uh, to, have, to be a perpetual motion. Yeah. So gravity motor could be a perpetual motion system, yeah. not to give any kind of output, but the general idea is of these motors that on this uh, shaft we're getting the more power that's needed, um, the, the system needs for itself to operate or to spin in circle. So that's the idea. So basically the housing, some kind of a small system uh, and the system which pulls in the, the motor, uh, the wheels and the weights from the sides. Basically that's it. Uh, you can freely read much more about, uh, about it in the pattern itself. In every video I post, I put uh, below in description the link to the original patent on the Google Patents page. So you can free uh, read it, so all the details and maybe sometimes I miss something, but I try to visualize all of this. So if you do and go and read, you will then be much more clear what's behind all of that. So thank you for watching. Until next video. Bye bye.